What's up guys? Welcome back. I'm Eric Shoji, professional volleyball player in Libero for Team USA. I'm here to react to and analyze different volleyball videos from around the world in hopes of inspiring, educating, and having fun with volleyball nerds just like me from all over the world. So if you love volleyball just as much as I do, subscribe to my channel so you can see my videos every week. All right, guys, I hope you're having a great start of your week. I know it's Monday. Quick update from Russia. Through the blizzard and the snow and all the wind of last weekend, we won our match. We beat Dinamo Moscow, the number one team in the league right now. 3-1, such an awesome win. Great fight, one of the most fun matches I've been a part of in a super long time. So if you wanna take a look, I will link the match in the description box below. All right guys, I am so excited about today's video. We are gonna be watching the 2010 NCAA Men's National Championship between Stanford and Penn State. And if you guys didn't know, I went to Stanford. I was a part of this match and so was my brother. He was a senior at the time and I was a sophomore along with so many of my best friends in life to this day. This match was one of the most incredible, life-changing, amazing events and matches I've ever been a part of and I feel so lucky to have been there, played in it, and experienced everything that it was. A little bit of context, and I'm sorry to bring this up, senior class at the time, which my brother was in, but four years earlier, the team was three and 25, I believe. The worst team in conference and one of the worst teams in the nation. But we had a coach at the time, his name was Al Rodriguez, such an amazing, amazing person and coach and friend and mentor who unfortunately passed away during the 2010 season. He coined this mantra, worst to first. He saw the talent that this senior class had, he saw the drive, and he knew that with a little bit of luck and hard work and with some more recruits that they could take this worst team and bring it all the way to first. So this match is something special. I'm getting goosebumps and getting a little bit of emotional just talking about it but let's get into it let's watch react and have some fun one more quick thing before we get into the video today i am watching this match today in honor of stanford men's volleyball starting their season this week which i am so so excited about but unfortunately as of now due to stanford's decision to cut 11 sports programs this will be the last season that Stanford men's volleyball ever has. Next academic year, there will be no Stanford men's volleyball team or program or season whatsoever. So obviously terrible, devastating, frustrating news. I remember waking up the morning of that decision and receiving so many messages and feeling so emotional that I just hugged my mom and started crying because I felt so devastated for the current players who now have to decide between a Stanford degree and playing volleyball in college and all these difficult decisions they have to make and feeling terrible for the coaches who were my coaches at the time and who are amazing, incredible people. And also for future recruits and young boys volleyball players who maybe dreamed of going to Stanford to play volleyball who now will never ever get the chance to. But in the description box below, I will be tagging a couple of different Instagrams and relevant articles about the decision that was made and the Stanford men's program. So I encourage you guys and ask you guys to follow along, follow those accounts, send messages of love and support, and also read up on how you can help reverse this terrible, terrible decision. So on behalf of Stanford Men's Volleyball and me, I just wanna thank you guys for all the love and support and for following along. That being said, let's get into this video. All right, third set, let's go. Keep in mind, we played a 30. Also video quality, 2010. Nice. We ran a pretty quick offense for 2010. I, I do remember that. Brad, one of my best friends in life. We played together in Germany, actually, our very first season. Oops. That's Joe Sunder. He played on the national team for a little, too. Nice pass, Spencer. Garrett. He was a senior at the time. Used to work for BuzzFeed. I'm not sure what he does now. Hilarious person. Killer standing float serve. What happened, Spencer? Serve. 
Service error. All right, there's Kavika. I'm going with the float. Ooh. That was pretty much straight down. Oh, Kavika, look how young you look. Just wait till they show me, guys. Oh. Will played for the national team, too. This guy's serving. Nice pass, Spencer. Great up in the corner. Is that out? Ooh, the interesting pipe. Nice up again. Spencer! <laughs> Spencer, so this guy, he's also from Hawaii along with Brad. I played club with Spencer since I was nine and high school and college. Just couldn't get enough of him apparently. Very consistent player, great passer, great ball control. Ah! What happened? Okay, Evan, what? That was kind of a disaster. I mean, why didn't we pass that free ball better? Oh, Evan. Evan works for Twitter now. One of the smartest, nicest, most charismatic people I know. And became a really good volleyball player this year. Go! remember this and Brad yes oh and the dramatic celebration some, some things never change oh our oh god my dad is crying god I, this is so cringe look at my look at me oh there's my dad crying again on national television oh god oh god <laughs> this is horrible to watch. I mean, it's great to watch, but also look at me. Oh, maybe not. Oh, Kavika, you just got hit in the face? I think it hit the block and like it kind of came up on him. Pepsi had a, a good team, you guys. They had some good players that Played on the national team for a while. Oh god. Nice pass, Brad. Can you get? Okay. I used to jump set a lot. It was part of our system. Oh, here's the dig. I remember just getting in the seam being like, I'm gonna dig this ball, and luckily it worked out. Oh God, my dad, so cute, 11 years later. Oh, who let me out of the house with that haircut? So our strength was definitely our ball control, our passing, and then we ran this quick offense, our middles, Garrett and Gus, they weren't necessarily the most offensive, but Kavika used them really well in perfect timing, especially when our ball control was on. Oh, that's what you call stealing a dig. <laughs> and Kavika with the over pass block. Oh God. So this is our crowd. This is awesome. So. At Stanford, at all our home games, we would have a lot of students come. They were part of like the frat house and sororities and they would always dress up. And for this event in particular, I mean, there's a lot of costumes here, but they all dressed up in like stormtroopers, Star Wars. It was so funny and just an amazing crowd, amazing student section. That's why it was awesome to play in front of our home crowd there. Oh, they're showing it again. Wow, I was super shallow on that ball. And then Brad crushed it. We'll talk about Brad later. <laughs> this student section was the best. Oh, 
Can you touch that? Oh. Was there a seam or was I just out of position? Kavika, you were like weirdly not on the net there. Okay, Evan. I used to call Evan my drama boy because he was very dramatic with his celebrations. I mean, not that I wasn't, but. And Brad with the ace. Four aces for Brad. I did not remember that. Jeez. There's our offense in transition. It was so fun playing this year because we just ran this like super efficient, quick offense, great transition. Watch how quick it was here. Bam. That was fun. Oh my gosh. Can we just look at that stat line, Brad? 19 kills right now, hitting 857. That's ridiculous. There's more to come. 19 for 22. Nice up, Dennis. He plays in Portugal, I believe, right now. Oh. Oh. Oops. What? Middle blockers, you don't necessarily always want to reach back to get those tips. Maybe let the back row defender or the off blocker get it. Causes just a lot of chaos. Also not a great pass by me. There's the celebration, Evan. I love it. Tip, go. Yeah, I think that was a double. Yeah, they're talking about the 3-25 and 25 season. Oof. Will was good. Again, a nice pass by our outsides. We were super like business, efficient, nothing too crazy, nothing flashy. We just got the job done. And that's what I loved about this team. It was just super consistent. Here we go. Woo! Come on. Nice touch by them. Oh, okay, angle. Ah, oh, that's frustrating to get the overpass and the free ball. Did not put it away. Good fight, Brad. Ah! Go! What a weird play. We didn't even have a blocker up. Well, you can hear the crowd. Oh, was that me? Oops. I actually think that was Spencer. Spencer, was that you? Oh my gosh. No! These awkward commercials. Ah! All right, 11 serving 15. Great pass, Brad. Nice fight on that tough serve. Okay, Spencer with the high hands. See, is this gonna be tactical? Got him out of system a little. Out, hit the antenna, thank goodness. Short, yes, Spencer. And Brad, are you kidding? He was just going off. They had no idea where to block him. So here you can see the records of the last four years. 18-11. I remember that was a big concern of ours going into this game was that Penn State had some really, really good middles. And we were just thinking that we got to get them out of system because those middles are just freaking good.
Yes, Brad. My pass was not perfect, but it's okay. Oh, Jakey. So Jake was a freshman this year and a serving specialist. Now he has his own company, Eat Sweet Nothings. I'll tag them below. He's an awesome person. Nice up, Kavika. Yes, Spencer. So we were also pretty good at defense and it just frustrated a lot of teams. You can see they had two pretty much amazing strong hits and we got them both up. And then the third one was an error, I think probably because we just got them so frustrated. Spencer. Oh no, that was Jake. Oh no, that was Spencer. Came up a little. I just shot snot out of my mouth. That was you guys. Oh, he's apologizing for like the eight foot pass. Where did this go? Yeah, they just like had no idea where to block. Ooh, that set is high. Ooh. That was a fun play. Can we watch that one again? It was just quick and could, probably could have pushed that a little bit higher if I was stronger at the time. Well, Kavika got under it. What a set, Kavika. Nice. Oh God, those are some of our alumni. Jeez, 23880. What? Ah! I was so shallow on that ball. I don't know how I got that up. But Spencer, it's okay. You were aggressive and we were up by a lot. <laughs> oh my God, sir. Oh, okay, Eric. Kavika. Oh. So I remember I was having a little bit of trouble with that float serve on that line earlier in the match. So that's probably why he was going after me. Thankfully I made that one a little bit better. Here goes Brad. Woo! Oh gosh. Come on. Yes! Oh no! So he killed that bick, that pipe, but he stepped over the line and watch, you can see it right there. And that was his only error of the entire match for hitting. Are you kidding me on that one? It shouldn't even count. Dramatic pass, Eric. Spencer, that looked like he had some heat. Oh, JP serving, serving sub. He was a senior at the time too. I have no idea what he's doing. Nobody on our team, I think, does. Go. Yes, Kavika. Nice. Nice up, Dennis. Yes, Gus. The nicest person in the world. I love Gus. Got up quick for that hit. I love it. Nice serve, JP. He had that wicked spin. Oh, snuck it through. 6,600 fans. Oh, the crowd, I miss it. I mean, this was like the only match we had as, as packed as this one, so. Spencer. Kavika with the jabs. <laughs> Nothing was going to stop us at this point, even a slight overpass. Kavika kind of has the same server scene, except he doesn't do the shimmy in 2010. Nice up. Oh, Spencer! Nice. I mean, we worked on that a lot. Out of system setting, non-setter setting, Evan Romero to be quite off, honest, wasn't very good at that. And look, that was pretty much a perfect set in the national championship because he worked on that so much. 
Could be good player of the year. Oh, not server of the year on that point. I remember being so mad because I was like, oh, you want, just want to be the hero, don't you, Kavika? But we're pretty much just destroying them, so it's okay. Oh, young Kavika. We already saw young me. We don't need to see it again. Woo! They were just going for it at this point. It's like when you're a passer and you're winning by that much, you're like, okay, get ready for the hardest serves ever. Oh, sneaky. Got him out of system. Ooh. Oh, Brad. I mean, what else can go right for Brad in this game? <laughs> Sick. I love it. Spencer serving match point, 29-17. Woo! Oh, it barely went out. All right. Remember, we played a 30, so we're at match point at 29. These were long games. Oh my god. Short? Oh, got under. Okay, with the back one, which we never set ever in this season. Kavika to Brad. Yes, I remember not knowing what to do, how to celebrate. Let's watch that point again. So I was like, Eric, you gotta pass this one good. And it went short. Back one, covered it. Kavika with this super long set and Brad, of course, with the crush kill to end it. Oh, it was amazing, you guys. Woo, the winners of the 2010 NCAA Championship, Stanford University. All right, guys, I want to thank you all for watching that with me. What an amazing, amazing match. So awesome to be a part of that and to be a part of that team. Those players are still some of my best friends in life and are doing amazing, amazing things in this world today. I mean, like you can see, we were on fire. We were passing pretty well. Kavika was running a great offense, digging balls, blocking balls, serving balls. Penn State was a really good team, but for that game, they just weren't gonna stop us. So it was an amazing match, amazing end to that season. And I feel so, so, so lucky to be a part of it. I just want to take the time to wish Stanford Men's Volleyball the best of luck this season. Go out there, you guys. Have fun. Work hard. Crush some teams. And I can't wait to watch and support you. For all of the fans out there, thank you so much for the love and support. Check out all those articles and links that I posted below. And we hope that this decision of cutting 11 Stanford sports gets reversed in the future. But I will keep you guys updated. Again, get out. Play some volleyball. Have some fun. And I'll see you all soon. Peace.